One of the things here that is foremost in uh, everyday experiencing for me is a constant um, a sense of or awareness of the fact that there's no control. There's no control. It took a long time for this to be stabilized here after um, what I call the awakening. I heard a lot of people saying, well, of course there's no control because there's no I. There's no you to be in control. There's no you to do anything. Well, yes, I got that. I got that. I understood that. There was no me. Once it was seen, and it was seen repeatedly here, <laughs> there's, no, there's no Lisa. There's no I. Once that was seen, yeah. And in fact, it just became... Ordinary. It was just an everyday thing. No, no me. And and experiencing though was still experienced. Things were still seen and heard and tasted and touched. So what is doing that? What is experiencing that? If there's no I, it's the consciousness. What some term the universal consciousness. Uh, what some term awareness. Uh, The one consciousness that shows up as seven billion different people and it also shows up as the world itself that's another video though and it's one of my favorite subjects so uh, uh, others who were awake were saying yeah there's no control there's how could there be control when there's no one to exert it how can there be a doing when there's no doer here there's no doer well that's obvious there's no doer but I kept seeing doing happening I kept seeing action I kept seeing uh, there's no chooser but there was choices there were choices being made finally it, it, I just left it alone I left it I put it on the back burner and then when I went back to it, it was cooked. <laughs> it was done. It was ready. Here's what it is. Choosing just happens. Doing just happens. Control. Control doesn't happen. There's, there is no control anywhere. Okay, so what do I mean by this? What I mean is, imagine for a moment that life itself including the bodies, including the trees and the sky and the planet and the cars and the chairs, the computers, everything. Imagine for a moment that it all morphs into one thing and it's called the river of life, the river of manifestation. And now imagine for a moment that that river is just flowing as it does and that there's no one or no thing guiding, directing, or controlling the river. That is what is here. Now to our senses, this invisible river of life, of consciousness, manifest because of the senses as a universe of stars and solar systems and planets sky, water, mountains, trees, bodies. The river manifests as everything. And there's no controller. There's no guide. There's no director. There's no, there's no chooser. It's just one seamless flow showing up like this. So what does this mean in everyday life? What is it like to live like this? Knowing that not only am I not choosing or controlling or deciding or doing, knowing that nothing is. No one or no thing is doing any of that. Well, it's great. <laughs> it's fabulous. I'd like to rent a billboard, put it up in Times Square. <laughs> no self equals fabulous.
<laughs> no control. Awesome. <laughs> and why is that? It's because the burden is gone. The burden is gone. When you think you're an I, you think you're responsible. You think it's up to you to make it happen, to do it right, to be in charge, to always be good, to never be bad. Uh-uh. It's all gone. That's not the way it is. That's not the way it is. There's no you to be in charge. There's no you to be good. There's no you to be bad. There's simply this. It's the one flow just showing up. Without a controller, everything is allowed to simply be. And what shows up is just what shows up. There's a lot of debate, even in the awakened community, about things that show up that are distinctly most people's not preference. In other words, war, violence, rape, abuse. When those things show up in one's sphere, compassion, compassion is there. And along with that, there's a knowing that it's just showing up. It just is. The same goes for all the things that we prefer, the things that we like, the things we imagine that we want and desire. The joy, the peace, the wonderful living conditions, the nice house, the new car, the vacations, all those things. They're all great. Enjoy them. I do. The ones that I have. The secret is to want what you have. And then the moment that you want what you have, the next secret is to want what's coming. There's no way to control what's coming. To want it to embrace it, the moment it shows up, that's the peace. Maybe you can't control that, maybe you feel this way or that, and that's how it shows up too. It's, it's going to show up. It's going to show up. No one can stop that. It just is what it is.